Look at that sweet diagonal pass. Ooh. Oh, that was cold. Oh, that's a nice block. Wait, who is this guy? Ben Chiro, is that you? On 30th August 2024, 2 p.m. GMT, Fabrizio Romano gave an interesting transfer update. At least, it'll be interesting if you're a Ghanaian. Barca are closing in on a deal for David Odru from Akara Lions. A day later, the official FC Barcelona website did publish that David Odru joins Barca Athletic on a three-year contract up to June 30th, 2027. Why is this great news? Well, firstly, David will be the second Ghanaian player to play for the Barca franchise after Calvin Prince Barton. And secondly, he is the first Ghanaian player to move directly from a club in Ghana to Barca. Thirdly, uh, there's no third point, don't mind me. Despite this move being a good one, we need to get certain facts right. Barca Athletic or Barca B is the reserve team of FC Barcelona and competes in the third tier of the Spanish league system. Sorry to bust your bubbles guys, but we will not see David Odro play alongside Pedri or Lewandowski or the first team in the Liga, as at now of course. However, as it is common practice for reserve teams, if he outshines in his role or there's a serious gap in the left back position in the Barca squad due to an injury or something like that, he'll be called into the first team. His new teammate, Gerard Martin, is a prime example of such a backup player. Regardless of how you look at this, it's a significant milestone for Ghana football. We've seen other high profile transfers from Ghanaian clubs to European teams, but this stands out. So, how did this transfer happen and what lessons can be picked from this? What is up internet? My name is Jojo and I genuinely hope you are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Subscribe if you are yet to do so. Alright, let's get into it. Who is David Odro? Born on June 12, 2006 in Ghana, Odro played for his boyhood club Dasidero FC and made impressive performances at the Ghana Football Association's KGL Foundation Championship, which by the way, it's an under-17 championship evolving all clubs from the country and it's also witnessed by a lot of scouts from all over the globe. This was how David was first discovered. He joined Accra Lions Youth Development Program until he reached the first team during the 2022-2023 season. Now fast forward to 2024, he went on trials to Chelsea SC but nothing else came out of it. Other than the usual, he's a talented player and has a lot of potential kind of rhetoric. I also do gather certain facts that he was also sorted out by Bayer Leverkusen and Anderlecht, with Anderlecht especially offering him first team opportunities. In the Ghana Premier League, he featured 50 times for the league runner-up Akara Lions within two seasons, with one goal and... Uh, sorry guys, I didn't find any stats on his assists. I'm checking out his profile on SofaScore and I'm realizing he has an average match rating of NA, not available. Again, I didn't see such stats. Can these guys at the GFA get serious about collecting key stats and metrics on footballers? This is 2024. It's not that hard to do that. Anyway, although I do not find any stats to back his incredible performance and his wonder kid status, it is necessary to know that you don't get scouted into La Masia if you aren't good enough. Now, to top it all up, he was a part of the Ghana Under-17 national team squad where he featured three times and currently is a part of the Ghana's under-20 national team and has featured in five matches so far. Now, what is the current situation right now? Because again, from Fabrizio's tweet, he said Barca are closing in on a deal. So, what's up right now? Well, Barca does indicate that his official signing is still pending, but David will travel to Barcelona in the coming days. So, that contractual stuff should be sorted out soon. I'm really excited to see how well he further develops. Looking at his highlights and his comms, he definitely is one for the future if he keeps up with the right attitude and continues to improve. Now, David, I know you'll be watching this, so here's a little something for you. You need to work extra hard to break out of the academy into the first team. There's Alvaro Campo, aka Trulli, Gerard Martin, and the Senegalese Mamadou Mbake, who are all capable of playing your left back position. So, being signed isn't enough. 
you need to focus and work harder to break out into the first team. Sit and learn from the stories of fellow Ghanaian footballers like Daniel Opare and Dominica Dia, who were also signed by Real Madrid and AC Milan respectively at some point in their career, but couldn't make the best out of it. And oh, by the way, fun fact, I haven't played football professionally, so you can take my advice with a grain of salt. So, what are some of the lessons we all can pick from this? Well, here's a little something for all of us. Whatever you find yourself doing, do it to the best of your ability and continually seek to improve. You never know who's watching. David's current market value is 175,000 euros, which is just about two weeks wages of Mohamed Kudos. As compared to the current market value of 120 million euros for a 16-year-old Barca player, Lambi Yamal. So, if you're like me, you probably will be thinking why there's a very huge variance in the transfer and market value. Now, if you want to find out how these transfer fees and market values are determined, I made a video a few years ago where I share all the details and all the variables that go into determining these figures. So, if you're interested, you can just click on this video or link in the description. And as always, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.